tilted. Yeah. Can we get you in it now? <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm in it now. Okay. Welcome back to Tea and Lemonade. Welcome and back. today we have a special guest for you guys. This is my beautiful husband. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and so we <clears throat> went to go watch um, Suicide Squad today. And we're uh, just about to give you a review. In the car. Car ride right, movie we'll review. We just got done eating too. It was great. We did. That's Jose's favorite part. The eating part is amazing. So, this is your special guest, Jose. What did he's, you think about the movie? He's our specialist in comics. <laughs> our comic specialist. Um, I liked it overall. I don't, I don't really see like where the reviews are. I'm getting all the negative reviews from. Like, to me, it was a fun movie. I'd go watch it again. Um, I felt like Will Smith and Margot Robbie did a really good job and they pretty much carried the movie. Definitely. Margot Robbie, she definitely did an excellent portrayal of uh, Harley Quinn. Yeah. And Will Smith did a very good job playing his character as well. Jared Leto was forgettable as the Joker. I mean, it was very, yeah, very forgettable and the Joker himself as a character in the movie, I don't know, it didn't seem necessary like when they did some parts it made it's like fine but to the overall story like it was just like some side story they just stuck in the movie that's what it felt like yeah he was he wasn't in the movie too long but it, it felt really out of place when he was it in felt the movie forced yeah it felt, it felt a little forced was, they didn't need the joker and the style of the joker that they went for wasn't the best i would say they kind of went with more hip-hop more modern joker and, and he, he gave that creepy factor it's just, I don't know, it wasn't a necessary character in the movie. Yeah. yeah like, absolutely. explaining, like, some of Harley Quinn's, like, like past, and, like, that, that was fine. But yeah. other than that, didn't either. Yeah, I did love the, um, you guys, some of you will catch it, there's a Jeff Ross, or Jeff Ross, there's an Alex Ross, um, homage in there that I'm sure a lot of you will catch. That was pretty cool to see. You don't see a lot of Alex Ross stuff out there, and when you do see it, it's pretty amazing. What do you think, Sam? Oh, I can stop down? Thanks, yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was super dope. As a person who doesn't read the comics and just starting to watch um, any movie based on comics, it's really great that, you know, they did dive into and explain the characters. There's just like a lot of ties to like previous movies if you watch previous well, movies. Well, there's, there's a couple of ties. I mean, yeah. it definitely ties back to Batman vs. Superman, which just came out. And then there, you can see them do some ties for the DC trying to create the right. universe. It's trying to weave that web of, you know, the DC universe. Yes, it starts off basically right after the last Superman uh, movie. Yeah. Um, has some bits in it, like leading up to the Justice League type of stuff. And they've mentioned metahumans, which is pretty cool because metahumans, um, if people watch any DC shows, you know who those people are. Like, you know, metahumans are a big part of the DC shows. Like, like you know, it's a flash of one. They mentioned that. Thing. Right, right. So, you know, so that was cool. I mean, the, the fact that they're actually trying to build the universe. I can see how this movie is going to mesh in, you know, obviously there's some pretty big cameos that I'm not going to spoil for you guys, but, yeah. you know, they're definitely building the universe. I just hope they can keep the momentum going. You know, this movie has been getting a lot of negative reviews. I don't really know why, like I said, like, 
I had a lot of fun I feel like it's it. more of just like people going with huge expectations to have it like really stick to the comic. Right. And you and know, probably because like the trailers were so amazing. They were expecting right, right. an amazing story. The story the story wasn't that great. I mean, it could have been better, but you but can tell they were trying to do a lot of setup and yeah. they could have maybe done some more character development, but it is what it is. Like some of the characters you may not be familiar with. Like I recognize some of the names, but I didn't really know too much about them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and even me, like as a you know comic nerd, like there was some characters I didn't know too much backstory on, and I don't feel like after I watched this movie that I know more about them now. Like I'm still kind of up in the air about who they are and what yeah, like how, how they, they came to their powers. Yeah, they kind of like just like did a movie version of how they came into their abilities and. But then again, it was, you know, they probably didn't have enough time to, like, go really deep into the backstory. They just wanted to let you guys know Like, this is a a quick little uh, snapshot of, you know, their past. Like, they did have some, like, kind of, like, throwback scenes so you can, like, kind of see some of the, why they acted some of the, like, the way they did. Mm Mm-hmm. But... Uh, it was okay. The character portrayals were actually, they were actually they weren't that bad, um, but definitely Will Smith and Michael Michael Robbins did an excellent job playing their characters like down to the T. Like I don't know, for me, Margot Robbins she stole the show with her Harley Quinn. Yeah, she, she was really, really just she owned was really that part. Good. She became that part, and the movie was just like you know what I want to see what she's gonna do, and she did a really good job. Yeah, she was she was really good, and the movie was like a little lighthearted. Like it wasn't like super serious. Like, like, and it was like dark. Because, yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah, like it was super dark. dark. Yeah. It wasn't like super serious because you know they're vil- they're you know, they're villains. So we already know they're bad guys. There's yeah. no point of being all dark and you know villainous and ominous. We already know they were villains. Mm-hmm. You know, turned good, somewhat. However you want to like call it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a fun movie. I had yeah, I had it was a fun. Blast. It was worth you know what we paid. And, I got entertained. I was a lot more entertained than watching Batman or Superman, so yes, I w- that speaks I w- volumes. I, I mean, Batman's. I'm a huge bat- fan of Batman, so to be huge more bat fan. huge bat fan, you know, <laughs> not not a bat flick fan, but. <laughs> But yeah, it was really good. The casting was done, you know, really, really well, and they did really hit, you know, hit it on the nose with a couple of the characters. It yeah, felt like they were going for like that. Viola Davis was oh amazing. My she was she really good. Oh, she's Amanda a bad, bad bitch. Perfectly. I love her. Yeah, she was really good. She made you hate her but love her at the mm-hmm. same time. Like when any actor or actress can do that, that's a good actor. Actress. You're just like. Like, I, I hate you, her. but I love you. Yeah, it's like you have so much respect for this woman, and it's like she a- just commanded respect. Like this lady, she's just she's a government agent, no superpowers, but she like basically made everyone her bitch. <laughs> there was, there was, there's really no other way to describe know. it because she just like you're going to listen to me, and everyone was like, "Yep, I'm going to listen." <laughs> yeah, she was, she was definitely good at doing that. Yeah. The movie had a vibe, like, they were kind of going for the Deadpool vibe, but they kind of held back a little, like, they were like, oh, we don't want to go that dark and funny, because, as you know, Deadpool is very, very on the nose with the jokes and stuff like that, but yeah. overall, the vibe was fun. It was a fun it was movie. Fun. It was a fun movie. It had great music. Like, did you guys like the music? Yeah, I thought, I thought the music fit well, especially during the action scene. They did the a pretty good job. The soundtrack was amazing. Yeah, they had a good soundtrack Every for single it. scene. There's it, a few folks. It accompanied the, so- uh, the, the scenes, like, really, really well. Yeah. Like, so. they, had, they had some one-liners, and they were actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, but, again, Michael Roberts, she stole the show with it, mm-hmm. with her one-liners. So, like, no one said anything better than she or Will Smith. Yeah. yeah. He's just so amazing in this movie. He's like, a great. I mean, he's definitely he's a great so actor. Talented. Like he's he's really good at what he does. You mm-hmm. know, he's a really talented person. Mm-hmm. But and yeah, and this is just like another show of his talents. Like you know, him being able to carry the movie alongside Margot was great. You know, yeah. that's what he's supposed to do. That's and why they like brought him on. The movie had some big names to it, but really, it came down to like the same people: um, Viola Davis. Uh, Margot Robbie, Will Smith, all carried it on their own, like individually and together. Yep. Like they're when they were like together or separate, they just had that presence. Yep. Like just like just commanded the room. 
Mm -hmm. But it was nice that, you know, they also helped build the other characters. They didn't overshadow any character. Yeah. You know, it, it wasn't like, you know, just a Harley Quinn show. Yeah. It wasn't Deadshot show. It was... Everybody was very good at supporting each other mm -hmm. in the video in the movie. So it was really awesome. I You know, I would go buy the DVD when it comes out <laughs> Well, I'm probably so. gonna buy it. So yeah, uh, I would have well, Thanks, I'm buying DVD. <laughs> <laughs> But it was awesome. I really liked it and I can't wait to see you know what the next the next movie. what they do justice league justice league will be the next one yeah. oh actually wonder woman oh yeah wonder, wonder, right. woman. wonder woman that's yes. coming next so yeah so yeah that's it well i hope you guys enjoyed watching our reviews and our thoughts and if you agree or disagree um let us know in the comment box below um and don't forget to like subscribe and share this video also you can find me on youtube <laughs> <laughs> I gotta I gotta get my plugs in. You can find me on YouTube. My name is Jose J O S E Dertiano D E R T E A N O. Uh, I'm a comedian, up and coming. So if you want to see my comedy and see what I'm all about, you can definitely go on there. Support my boo. If life gives you lemons, grab some fish and make ceviche. Oh. Okay. Well, that's nice. I like that. Chicken with a suicide <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye. And baby, like when, remember when we were talking about Will Smith, like has he ever been in any bad films? Oh, he's been in a couple. He's, <laughs> he's been in a couple. He's been in a, we, in a yeah. couple. All right, cool. Done.